So, Anika, yeah. how are you doing today? Today we're going to be doing um, the easy way to do Thai tea. Take out the mystery of Thai tea. This is the most traditional oldest brand of Thai tea that was in Thailand way back. I mean, there's other brands. This is good, but we just decided to use this one today. Okay, it's like making your coffee in the morning. So what we're gonna use, the concentration will be, we're gonna use one spoon for every two cups here. So we got a 12 up there, so we're gonna use six of these. Four, five, six. Okay. And then, I just got the permanent basket filter in here and I got another filter in. What it does is it's gonna slow down the drain, the, the brewing, so that it's got more time to go through the tea. Okay, I'm gonna insert it in here. Turn it on. Turn it on. Here we go. Done until later. So earlier we brewed our Thai tea, and you notice some of it's gone because we took some out to chill it. But all we did was after it was done in the pot, we just added a half cup of just plain sugar and mix it up to sweeten it up and put it in cups and just cool it up. So, this one is two types. So, this one is your traditional one that you usually see in the shops. And all you do is just pour a little bit of evaporated milk on it. So, this would be the one with the milk, and this, is, this one would be the one with the, the lime. Um, if you're lactose intolerant or just rather prefer it without the milk, you can do it that way too. Just just showing you that there's a different variation. They call it what in Thailand? Cha Dam Yin. Cha Dam Yin. I don't know why. Like a Dam is black. Yeah. yeah. Yin is cold. Oh, so that means the tea is not milk. Yes. Okay. So, okay. But that's the one with the milk, see? <laughs> and this is the one. With the lime. So you just squeeze the lime in. So you can do your choice of what you want to do with it and you can squeeze it and then make like you're drinking a Corona and put it inside. <laughs> okay. So you have to try this one, you never drink this one. <laughs> This one is good, it's, it's much lighter, it's a much, um, for me, I, I prefer this one because it's a lighter, more of a summer type of drink. And... Just mix it up. This is a really, really popular drink. The next time we're gonna do a green one. That's the normal Thai tea. A lot of people like it a little bit more milk. 
and that's fine. But um, when you use evaporated milk, it doesn't turn the tea as white as you would with half and half. Now, on your Thai tea, some people like it really sweet. If you was to buy this in a can, it would have double, if not triple, the amount of sugar that we put in now. So adjust your sweetness to it, how you sweet you like it. Some people like it really sweet, but it's better to start with less and add than make it too sweet because you can't take it out once you put it in. So until next time, that was your Thai tea. Maybe we'll do a green one the next time. Mm -hmm. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And if you got any need to contact us on for any reason, just go on Facebook. The recipes are everything is right there. So until next time, try cooking time. Cooking time. Take it easy.